Let's talk about the distance queen, Katie Ledecky, in her signature event, the women's 800-meter freestyle. If you guys remember, Katie Ledecky won this event in 2012 in London when she was only 15 years young. Then in Rio in 2016, she repeated, and she is, I I'm not sure if she's the first person to win three consecutive Olympic Games in this event. Look at the time. Look at the time. 8-12. I think before the broadcast of this event, they were saying how Katie Ledecky owns 20, the top 23 fastest performances of all time. So oftentimes when you, when you think about like Michael Phelps and some of these other top athletes, it's like, oh, they own, you know, eight of the top 10 performances in the world. Katie Ledecky has 23 of the top performances in the world in this event. So it was pretty much a shoe in that she was going to win. Of course, she was tested by Titmus. Titmus brought the test. And we saw Titmus defeat her in the 400 and the 200. But Ledecky is the distance queen for a reason. She destroyed that 1500. And yeah, how about Katie Grimes from the USA, just 15 years young, Italy coming in for that third position. Now let's look at the splits. Look at how Titmus closed on it. So Titmus came home in a 29.3 to Ledecky's 30.5. The second to last 50, Ledecky was a 31.1, Titmus 30.9. So you can see she was trying to make a charge here at the end, but it was too little too late. It was still relatively close. I mean, 1.2 seconds, but Ledecky is just, is just too good at this event. Uh, you know, is there another opportunity in the future where there's going to be a challenge? Absolutely. Keep in mind, the world record by Ledecky is an absolutely ridiculous 804.7. I remember when she was dropping time like crazy, I was like, is she going to go under eight minutes? Like, <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't put anything past her, right? So, yeah, shout out. We saw the Australians and Canadians in the last event show up, and here's Ledecky striking back, striking back. And, you know, Ledecky, it was interesting watching the interview. Not sure if you guys saw this, but... In the interview, Ledecky looked visibly tired and was very fatigued. And, you know, the commentator or the, the interviewer was asking her, is, is this the last time we see you in this event? Is this, is, are you retiring now? And Ledecky's like, no, I'm going to 2024 at least. I'm definitely going to be in Paris, maybe 2028. So I think for us sports fans, it was great to see that. It, it actually, it would have been a shocker to hear her say, guys, I really had fun at this Olympics and I'm retiring now. I don't know what I'm holding. I'm pretending to hold a mic. The microphone's right here. But anyway, so it was really interesting to to see that. And, and actually, I'm grateful that she was so confident that, yeah, I thought Grimes would make the podium. I thought she had a shot. Ledecky can win another Olympic 800 and 1500. Guys, I think I think Ledecky should swim the, the 10K open water. I don't think anyone would beat her in the 10K open water. She would just machine through that whole thing. She could swim the 800, 1500, and 10K open water, she could win three individual gold medals. And I think as long as she trains at the level she does, for the next few years, like no one's going to touch her if she decides to swim those events. Phil Star Ledecky is not in full form. I think she's pretty good. I think she, this is the men's uh, 1500 will be tomorrow. Ledecky is the yeah out fast. Hey, you know what? She gave it all. Her all. She gave it her all. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so Ledecky is a distance queen. She certainly showed herself or showed the world what she can do.